who's back. I'm back, and I have some hair. Hi, I'm Seth. And I'm John C. Together with our son, E-Man, and our dog, Luna, we're going on adventures. And remodeling a Shasta. Hello, we're back. We have not been working on the trailer for a while because I have been busy growing a little baby. And I really wanted to have the nursery done before I went to school, back to work. And so we've been focusing on that. And it's been 100 degrees or higher almost every weekend and we don't have air conditioning so it's just a little too hot for us to be hanging out in the trailer but today it is only 88 degrees and so we're back working on the trailer we're painting our ceiling today the reason that we're painting our ceiling today is because the paneling delaminated over here in the back from the second round of water damage This is not going to be the final stage of the ceiling though. We're going to put some wood paneling up there so it's going to look like decking on the ceiling. So you can sing I'm on a boat when you're on the trailer. I'm on a boat! <laughs> While Seth's busy painting the roof, I am going to finally paint the doors and drawers for our kitchen cabinets, which I'm super excited to have done. We didn't do it because it was like 100 degrees and you can't paint when it's 100 degrees because the paint doesn't work. But now we can, so. I'm painting the ceiling, not the roof. He's not raising any roofs today. Ceiling is done. I have one little boo-boo in the corner down here I have to fix. And that should be most of the painting for inside the trailer. We're not going to make a whole entire painting video. Again, if you want to see our first painting video where we painted the trailer, you can click here. But we're just going to fast forward through this part and then show you laying the floors. We got to cut this drawer down. Our new sink is much larger than the original sink and the drain comes down right here in the middle of the drawer. So we got to cut it down. Take a glove. Almost. Yeah, I think you're right. Ta-da! Did it. It's a short drawer. Perfect! Good job. Fits. It's finally time to lay the new floors. So after we lay the floors, we can actually build the cabinetry and we're getting closer and closer to done. I'm so excited. But before we can lay the floors, I gotta scrape some paint off because there's some globs of paint on the floor that won't make it smooth. <laughs> Cause I'm a messy painter. There's gaps in the floor that have to be filled. We're gonna fill them with some plastic wood. See how that works. These two pieces of wood here are not attached together on either side, except for here and way over there. There's a metal I-beam about here and between there and there is nothing. So I need to manufacture something to hold those two pieces of wood together, two pieces of flooring. I found John C over here with the saw, cutting a drawer in half. What are you doing? I'm cutting this so we just have the face and so I can pry this wood out of the crack easier. So we just have the face so we can put the bloop bloop flipper thingy. What do we thingy. want just the face for? The bloop bloop flipper thingy. That thing? 
Yeah. All right, that's what I'm doing. Should I wear your safety goggles? Great success. Yeah. I got my two pieces of plywood cut for my floor holding together device. First board installed. Here's my second one. Just got two screws holding it up for now. Now we can start laying floor instead of laying underneath the floor. Give me the measuring tape, please. We got Traffic Master Grip Strip Flooring in Khaki Oak that we're laying down. It is looking pretty good. There is some variation in the colors, even though they're all coming from the same box. But that's all right. So that's cutting a piece for us. And we're working our way around the wheel well right now. So it's been interesting. It cuts very easily, but it really helps to have a straight edge to cut with. And then you just score and snap. Right. And then you put glue side to glue side as you put it down. Once the glue sides touch, it's a very hard to remove it. So you want to Try to line it up the best you can. Around the edges is not perfect, but we are putting quarter round as kind of like a baseboard area. This piece right here got an inch and a half cut off for this corner here. So we got to cut an inch and a half here. And we got to cut this one here somewhere. Then I'm going to take this piece and put it at the end. It's going to look great. But I got to work my friggin' belly over there. Ugh. Okay. That was quite the shot. I'm sure it was. This is like. This row right here is almost perfect. Do, 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 do. We almost didn't have to make a cut. And then bloop, just a little bit. So I guess we're cutting like two and a half inches for right there. The last piece. We didn't want that glue showing because we don't want a bunch of dirt stuck to it, so we put a scrap piece right there. And now gonna hang up some doors for our cabinetry. Thank you. 
did it. We did the floors. I'm so excited. We just have to add the quarter round around the outside, which is the perimeter. <laughs> Taught that in fifth quarter grade. Quarter around the outside. Quarter around the outside. outside. Quarter around the outside. So we're going to add quarter round around the outside, and then the floors are officially done, and we can start building the cabinetry. Yep. It's exciting. And the doors and drawers are finally installed as well. Doors and drawers and floors all done. Woo woo. All right, thanks for joining us. Like it if you liked it. Bye. Bye. Doors, drawers, and floors. Doors, drawers, and floors. Doors, drawers, and floors. We're gonna do our doors, drawers, and floors. Graphic Master Grip Step. Why can I talk? I found the instructions finally. Also, my hair is very frizzy. Thank you, humidity. <laughs>